What's going on guys? So for about the last three years, I have been battling an addiction that has been compromising my future and my relationships. So when you go on adult sites, you may see ads for campsites. Well, sometimes I'd spend an hour or two on an adult site trying to find the perfect video. And then one day I finally caved in and wanted to see what the fuss about these campsites were. Probably the worst decision I've ever made because I got sucked in slowly but surely. Slowly over time, it started off with, you know, maybe one or two $10 purchases, tipping them out of $10 here and there. Innocent, nothing huge, nothing significant. Um, <clears throat> but after about three to six months of experimenting and visiting the, uh, these campsites, I realized myself going on it more and more frequently. And fast forward to the last, I wanna say eight months, every single month, I have been spending any and every last bit of extra money that I have come in monthly on campsites, on online paid porn, on models. And it has not only compromised my relationship, but my future. Luckily, I have a very understanding partner. You guys all know her as Nicole Drinkwater. And I finally had the courage to open up to her about it because I had no savings. I had nothing for my future, nothing. Um, and even at one point I was getting into a negative balance and I had to make excuses as to why I couldn't afford to go out to this nice dinner or why we couldn't take this trip here or why I couldn't do this or that. I had to make excuses because I wasn't ready to admit the truth. The truth is that I had been wasting all of my money on this campsite addiction. And I have always been someone who I felt was good with money in the sense where I didn't spend my money on clothes, on any, anything materialistic, on cars, on anything that I didn't need. So when this came about, uh, I don't see how it took me so long to realize how bad it got. And when I realized how bad it got, it was a case of every day saying, okay, this is the last time. And that kind of went on for months and months. Um, now I came up with a system with Nicole after I opened up with her where every single morning she goes through all of my bank accounts. She knows where all my money comes in and where all of my money goes. Now we built up that trust and it has been working. So for the last, I wanna say two months we had the system in place, I haven't spent any money relating to anything that I was wasting all my money on. So I've made huge progress considering the last two years, all of my extra money has been going to these campsites, leaving me with nothing every month. And in the last six months in a negative balance. Um, but before the pandemic happened is when we had this system in place. So had I kept this up, had I not, had we not worked out a solution, I'd be in a very bad place right now. Maybe having to borrow money from a friend or get a loan out. I don't know what I'd be doing, but I'm so grateful to have such an understanding and loving partner to help me work through this addiction because I wouldn't have been able to progress from how I can see it without her. We actually had worked out a really great system. It's still working right now. Haven't spent any money on anything related to that. And I'm proud of myself and it saved the relationship because had I kept doing it, of course, there would be no more relationship. So how I came about to opening up about it to her was because I so desperately wanted to overcome it. I realized how much of it has consumed me. And not only while I was active on it, spending money in the moment, but even when I go to the gym and do other activities, I find myself constantly thinking about the next opportunity I would get to spend money. Um, and I was so embarrassed and humiliated to open up to her about this, that when I opened up, I had to have her stand behind me because I couldn't bear to look her in the face and tell her where all my money has been going. And it was the best decision I have made because as I said, it has saved our relationship. It has saved my future. I now have a savings um, and it had prevented me from having a much worse lockdown uh, 
much work experience, much worse experience through this pandemic had I not overcome this addiction. So shout out to Nicole uh, because she has been an integral part of this healing process. I can't say I could do it without her. And the message of this video is, of course, the first step is admitting you have an addiction. I think that's common knowledge. But for me, what made the biggest difference was opening up to someone who I really loved and trusted. And because of that, because I opened up to her, we were able to work out a solution. So take that and do with it as you will. But this is just what has worked for me uh, and something I've been struggling with for a long time. And on my social media, how could anyone ever know this is something I was battling? But truth is, we all have our trials and tribulations. This has been the biggest one I have faced in the last few years. And I just want to share it with you guys. I hope it can be useful to some of you. I hope maybe if you're battling an addiction of your own, that you can maybe take my advice and open up to someone you love and trust and work out a solution together. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll be back with more good content coming soon. I love you guys.